Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. This video is going to be about how to stamp a concrete walkway. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this in a random stone pattern. So the first thing we do before we stamp any concrete is we always, we always get the surface mag floated out. And we run our edgers up the edges to round the edges off a little bit. So that's what we're doing here. And as you can see, I was up on the other end. I'm using a, I was using what's called a funny mag. And that's a, basically just a mag float right there. It's a mag float that's on a pole. And that allows you to get on, get in some areas that you can't reach from the outer edge without having to get on the concrete. So it just makes mag, mag floating the surface a little bit easier at times. I'll have a link for that down in the description. Um, that just makes your job a little bit easier having a tool like that makes things go a little faster so we're getting the edges all edged out then we're mag floating them and the reason we mag float before we stamp is just to you know make sure there's no little imperfections in the surface no little rock holes get out any bull float lines bring up a little bit more of the paste and just make the surface a little bit better looking before you put the stamp to it. So that's what we're doing there. Hey, for those of you guys that are new here, if you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. We uh, specialize in concrete flat work, and that's what my channel's all about, is all kinds of different videos about concrete flat work, teaching you guys how to do this kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. And hit the little bell notification also so you'll be updated. I put out a couple videos a week. So we've determined that the concrete's ready. And it's about 45 minutes or so to an hour after we get done pouring the concrete. So the concrete's been sitting here a little bit. Some of it's in the sun. Some of it's in the shade. You can see there's a tree there kind of shading a little bit of it. So we're throwing on that powder as a release agent. And it does a couple things for us. It, number one, it keeps the stamps from sticking to the surface so you're not pulling up the paste with the stamp. And it also adds a little bit of a secondary color to the surface because you're going to be pressing that color, that powdered color, into the surface a little bit. So as you, these stamps, these random stone stamps, they, they only go together a certain way. So when you start your pattern, which it doesn't really matter which way you put them when you start, but after you start your pattern, you know, you got to make sure they connect together the right way. And the different colored stamps is a little, just a little bit different stone pattern under those stamps. So the black ones, the green ones, the blue ones, they all have a little bit different stone pat pattern to them. We... You know, we started pouring this thing up on the other end, actually, up by that house. And we finished here, right where we're starting the stamp. But the sun was hitting this part first. So this part up here by the driveway was a little bit firmer than the part up by the house. So that's why we had to start here and work our way to, towards the house part. You can see we're setting those down. They all interlock. These are pretty rigid stamps too. They're pretty thick. So you can start stamping the concrete, you know, when it's, but definitely before you could walk on the concrete, um, when it's pretty soft. You know, and the tricky part about do, stamping concrete in the sun is you got to really, you don't, you have a short window to get from one end to the other. So, you know, we got to move right along, get down to that other end. That other end's in the sun too before it gets too hard or we're not going to get a good stamp pattern in it. It's going to be really hard to tamp the pattern into that section down there if we let it go too long. So we're moving right along about as fast as we can move. A couple, the three of us, the two girls are helping with the edges. When you overhang stamps over a form like that, it's, it is kind of nice if they overhang too much to have someone hold up on that edge as you're tamping the stamp in. It just gives you a little bit better impression on it. So the girls are kind of helping us do that as we're moving along. You can see Abby there, she's rolling that edge with the texture roller, getting some good texture right along the edge. 
Sometimes when you stamp, when you tamp the stamp right next to where the board is, your form, the form kind of holds the stamp from, from sinking into the concrete so you don't get quite as good texture right next to the form. That's why we like to roll that texture on there first. This, this walkway was about 55, 60 feet long and right around four feet wide. You know, it flared out by the driveway and it gets, gets in, makes into a little patio up there by the house. So it's about 10 to 12 feet wide up there, I guess. I can't remember exactly, but right around 12 feet wide up by the house. We colored this concrete too, so the when we poured the concrete, we put a what's called a gull gray color in the concrete. And if you guys are thinking of doing something like this and you want to color your concrete, I'll have a link down in the description where you can get your color. You can order it right from Marshalltown and they'll ship it right to your house. So there'll be a link down there for that. You can also get your stamps there too. So I'll have a link there if you guys want to get some stamps. So we're about halfway done now. We're moving right along. We're getting into this area where it's going to start widening up a little bit. You can see the patio area right there by the house has a section that's been in the sun a while then that little corner section that's been in the shade. So those, those pieces of concrete right there, the sun and the shade are going to be two totally different firmness if you want to call it that. So we'll probably go up that side where the sun is and then come back down the side where the shade is and finish up. The stone tech pattern is a pretty nice pattern. It has quite a few different random stones in it. Uh, we do this one quite often. It's one of the more popular ones. We do this one and we do ashlar slate a lot. And then probably the next most popular one is just a stone texture. I've got some other videos on those. If you want to check some of those out, I'll have them linked at the end of this video. But basically what we're doing is we're just moving along stamp by stamp. You know, with two guys it goes pretty fast. One guy tamping usually and then one guy picking up and moving them. That's usually the way it, it goes the fastest. Sometimes we don't need to use that tamper either. Like if this was all in the shade, I wouldn't have to use that tamper. I could just use the weight of my body and just my feet. But since it's in the sun, that tamper makes things 10 times faster. That powdered release too, that gets on everything. So the best way to clean that stuff off is with a Dawn dish detergent and that'll be you know this is a part two of a three-part series guys part one was about me forming and pouring this so if you haven't seen that I'll link that at the end of the at the end of the video and then part three is going to be I'm going to show you guys how we come back the next day and we clean and and then we seal this thing to finish it off so make sure you come back and check out part three of this That powdered release, that'll all wash off the house, the deck. You know, we'll rinse that right off. Put a little Dawn dish detergent on a little scrub brush, it comes right off with a pressure washer. You can see they were getting up on that sun part. We're trying to get that sun part done first. That concrete was actually pretty firm by the time we got down to this end. Got a really flexible mat I'm using right there up against the up against the house. That thing is made just for that. The other mats, the one with the handles on them, they wouldn't flex like that. They're too rigid. 
I have two of those really flexible mats. One's a green, one's a blue one, and one's a black one. So we try to alternate them when we can. You can see I'm rolling on my texture. That just makes stamping it so much easier up next to the house. T is passing me a little little tool that I use to cut in my joint line sometimes when when you flex a stamp up against the deck like I'm doing right there sometimes the joint lines don't go all the way to the deck so you got to put them in by hand and that's what I'm doing right there with that so I'm just continuing the joint lines between the rocks putting them in all by hand I have to do that up against the house and up against that set of stairs and I just use a little basically it's just a little roller paint roller is what I'm using without the roller cover on it that slows you down quite a bit too when you're going up against stairs like that and then up against a foundation you can see how I'm flexing that up against the foundation and I've probably got about three or four inches away from the house that I have to cut those lines in by hand so how many of you guys would like to learn how to stamp like this you know leave me a comment I'm in the beginning stages of making a course on stamping concrete so it's going to be a it's going to the course is going to tell you you know where to get your color where to get your stamps obviously how to stamp concrete how to when to start the different patterns we use um so i'm just going to basically break down all the knowledge all the experience i've had stamping concrete for 30 years into this course so if that's something you guys you know want just make sure you leave me a comment down there so i know how many of you guys might want something like that and i've got it started already i'm going to be finishing it up here shortly probably within the next month i'll have that stamp course finished and available for you guys so let me know if you want it down there in the comments there so i'm finishing this up coming down that last edge pounding the pattern into the stamps when I pick the stamp up too, you know, I'm looking to make sure that I got good texture in there. If I don't, then I can just put the stamp back down and tamp it again. We're taking those stamps too and we're putting them out on the lawn. We'll pressure wash, we'll clean those stamps too. We clean them after every use. It just makes sure that the number one, they're easier to handle if they're clean but the release will build up in the texture too on the bottom of those stamps so you got to wash all that release powdered release off the stamps just gives you a better looking stamp job so that's it guys that's how to stamp a concrete walkway um, make sure you come back and check out part three and if you haven't checked out part one yet where we're pouring and forming and pouring this thing you know check that out and i'll see you on the next video